everybody, my name is Psychowave, and welcome to Escape Inc., a game on Newgrounds and Mouse City, as you can see down in the bottom right there. Uh, this game looks like it's heavily inspired by the era of, like, Freddy Fish and Pajama Sam, two games I actually played when I was growing up because they were both fun and educational. Uh, I also like the music and the fact that this guy looks like he's straight out of the show Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> but it's a point-and-click adventure quest type game where you have to escape the room. And let's get right into it. Welcome to Dracula's Castle. Hi. Oh, not auto progressing. This is Dracula's Castle. We are in an office building that claims it's Dracula's Castle. Okay. Pretty sure the building claims to be called Escape Inc. He's an idiot. Please go on. So these two characters are Gideon and Reed. I wasn't sure which one was who at first until the chubby guy got called Reed. Oh yeah. Your goal is to escape from Dracula's Also, turning up the music. In 60 minutes, or else Dracula Sorry, looking at my wallpaper. <laughs> was this about Dracula coming to get me? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention! Ah! <laughs> yes, yes he was. Well, actually, was he? I'm pretty sure there was a guy called Dracula. But not necessarily the one that was in the story. I guarantee there's someone, uh, someone or some people in the world that are legally called Dracula by name. Well, also, their mouths just keep going. Master, and you are it is very late at night. Once you go inside, yeah. start the clock. Oh, I'm doing a puzzle quest game. Don't worry, Spike will give us clues. That's yes, right. yes, he will. But I'm going to the store right now to buy a milkshake, so I'll be back soon. I also will be taking a lot of pictures. Technically, this is not an... Okay. Yes, okay. I don't think I want to listen to you yammering. Okay, so let's get right in it. First of all, I'm going to click on this uh, calendar because that looks suspicious. 14, 18, 27, blue, red, green, or yellow, whatever. I am colorblind. I figured there would be something in the drawer. There's a meat fork in here. Hello, meat fork. Oh, good. I'm hungry. Let's find the meat. Uh, no, okay. You're missing the point. You must find another use for this meat fork. Okay. Why? This game is stupid. Okay. That's the socket. Yes, it is. It's also known as an outlet in some countries. Uh, hi. Oh, I don't have a code for you, and you're too long for the code that I, I got from this. So, can I use this on the socket? I'm not doing that. It could kill me. Only an idiot would do such a thing. Well, I have electrocuted myself with an outlet before. Uh, why can't I use it on you? Hey, Reed, stick this meat fork inside the socket. Okay. But I'll electrocute myself. Well, you're smart enough to know that. You won't. It's part of the game. And the you'll be fine. Getting your ass. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Say so. <laughs> oh God! See, Hello. You have you some bones. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a code there. See, I told you you'll be fine. Okay, so 5972. I'm assuming that's the code. Let's try it out. 5972. Also, I should take a picture of the calendar There's since I have my phone. In here. This place is awesome. Why would you have a chainsaw here? Okay, let's get a picture of this. And... Click. Ah, phone's in silent mode, by the way. Uh, okay, there we go. So I'm assuming I use this chainsaw on the wooden door. Yeah, this is some, like, Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam era style of cartoon work. Come, Reed, go no through the store. This game is crazy. I'm staying here. Okay. Fine. I'll solve it myself, and I'll be the room champion. You cut down a door. What's that for? Oh, hey, I see something on the side of the safe. Time for another picture. Oh, crap, I closed my camera. No! Time for another picture. And click. There we go. I'm definitely going to need that. <laughs> it looks too important not to. There's some colored things here. Wait. Oh, those are the colors of the calendar. What do I need those for, then? Maybe the... Oh, that seems about the right... <laughs> Wait. Yeah, there's six numbers, so... Okay, so I would... What was it first? Green, blue, red. Okay, so 27. Let's see how fast we beat this game. <laughs> 14. And then 18. 
right? 18. Oh god, the, the sound effect scared me for a second. Hello. Oh, there's an umbrella. Yoink. Uh, I'm very observant. Oh, the key word there was wooden! Bushki. Hello. Wait a minute. Is that... The blocks are falling to the right. Cool. Ow, my neck. Oh, ow. Is that for... Okay, yeah, that is for this. So, if they're falling to the right... I'm not going to need that hint. I would assume it's... Orange... Red... Purple... Or pink, whatever. And then yellow? Oh god. Why are those sound effects so loud? I only see two things I can do in here. What's this one? What's this? Oh, it's colors. Maybe it's the reverse of the door. Because that was, that was green, blue, red. So let's go red, blue? Green, red, yellow, whatever color that is. Let's go with that one. No? Okay, what, what if I reverse these two? Okay, so, whoops. Okay, no. What was it? What? I found a oh, hammer. God, jeez. Well, got that there. Now what's this? Okay. I'm going to go start from this side and work my way down. This, this is the best way to get it for me to go through these kind of puzzles is just work my way down. Okay, now. Okay, and so let's do this, I guess. And this is going to be pure dumb luck, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. I was right, though. Ooh, it's a time-based one. I love these. Okay, so that's 225, 540. That is 245, and that is 435. So we got 3, 4, 8, and then fill in the blank. And now, looking at those symbols, that is what we needed the little chart that I took a picture of for. So let's see, that would be, I don't know. Because it's going up, with the, by, when it goes three and four, it's going up by, I'm assuming it's gonna be a low number, not a high, because the chart only goes as high as nine. So it wouldn't be going like, because it goes up by one here and then it goes up by four but you would if you were to assume that it's going to go up by eight you would have the wrong number so i'm gonna choose between one four three and two i do not know why i didn't just say one two three four uh let's try four because we want it to be a low number uh clearly okay that that was four uh one Uh, I'm looking for a duck or whatever that is. No. Nope. Uh, duck. Uh, okay, so three is the last one. I narrowed it down to a low number, so it has to be a low number. Uh, oh, there we go. I hear something rattling inside the skull, but I can't get it out. The eye sockets are too small. Why don't we use the hammer on the skull then? Now we got a key. That sound effect was very delayed. Okay, cool. We are in a pit. All room That's with a pit. The exit door. I have to cross the bottomless pit if I want to go through that door. I'm pretty sure it's not actually bottomless. Also, I've been noticing these cameras all over the place. I can use the table to go to the other side, but not with my bare hands. I have sensitive skin. <laughs> oh my god. I'm assuming that's why I have the umbrella then? It's the last object I have. There it goes! In classic 90s style. I think I did it fast too. Why is Reed's picture on the wall? 
Luke, who decided to join us. Okay. Yeah, we've been waiting sarcasm. for you an hour. Is this Sarcasm Simulator? <laughs> How you get out? And why is your photo hanging the, on the wall? I already asked that question. Reed managed to get out so fast. I was out to buy a milkshake, and when I got back, he was already out. That's why he is our champion. He also won the grand prize, $1,000. He must why? have gotten out through the door we went in. That makes sense. To me, like someone jealous. Oh my god. Uh... Wait, what? Oh god, that was the end. Okay, so that was Escape Inc. Shorter than I expected it to be, but okay. Yeah, okay, so that really felt like the kind of games you would play back in the days of, like, Freddy Fish and Pajama Sam. Those old, cheesy, educational PC games, which some of those were actually pretty fun when I think back to them. Like, they were cheesy for their own rights. I, I think I really liked Pajama Sam the most, though. It had more of a rich story sometimes. It also allowed you to because of the kids imagination in that game you traveled through all these like little worlds and it was just it was so unique and i i thought they were interesting i'm surprised they're not out more like they didn't keep going with them i did find out they're on steam though that's the funny thing uh but yeah so guys that like i said was escape Inc. as always if you enjoyed this video as much as i did recording it don't forget you can suggest games or challenges in the comments and you can check out other videos i've done in the outro and yes i'm doing this a lot for some reason <laughs> but as always i'll see you in the next one <laughs>